would like to introduce you our new frequency inverter series. So you can see here, we call it Active Cube Series. It's an ACU and the size 7. Uh, and we have the new power rating up to 160 kilowatts. And you can see also as well that here on the bottom side, you have the um, uh, water cooling system in option that in this case we can reach 200 kilowatts. The main benefit of this inverter is focused for the mainly dedicated for heavy industrial application, but also mining or sugar plants. And thanks to the water cooling solution, we can also have many applications like, for instance, uh, plastic industry for extruders. And uh, I would say, of course, we have many options you can see, like uh, communication field bus inside, uh, feedback sensor, because this inverter is also able to control either induction motor, synchronous reluctance motor and also as well permanent magnet motor. This is our new series, it is one of the highest uh, power density on the market because it is mainly 2 kW per decimeter cube and uh, now you can have a look on this. It's easy to connect here for the motor side but also as well for the grid side. And today we are here to present the new 300 Hem series, our planetary gearboxes. And actually with 20 sizes, we cover from 1,250 Newton meters up to over 1.2 million Newton meters. The new 300 Hem uh, planetary gearboxes has input, dedicated input solution for electric and hydraulic motors and optimized stage configuration at a high torque density in a very compact design. Moreover, today we launch also the new self-cooling system, which is at the moment patent pending. This integrated solution is perfectly suitable for several sectors, like mining, like food and beverage, like water and wastewater. And within those sectors, there are typical applications. One of these is uh, agitator mixers. And this solution is 100% fitting uh, to, to this application, as the new 300M is enhancing the performance, the torque performance, at higher number of cycles, up to 50%. While the new self-cooling system is able to allow the, full, the usage of the full mechanical power of the gearbox. I will introduce you the electric wheel drive we have developed for a backhaul loader. Uh, when we first start to analyze the application of the backhaul loader, which is a construction equipment, we found that the first challenge is the variety of conditions the machine is working. It's going from high speed road uh, transfer at 50 km per hour, and uh, it's combining that in a building site with high traction force. 110 kilonewton. So we started for that rugged application from uh, our uh, robust gearbox 600 series, size 10. This is capable of 40,000 newton meter output torque and uh, it is uh, normally used in agricultural applications, so in tough applications like the construction machinery. And uh, um, in order to cover all the uh, operation point of the machine, we had to apply into this gearbox a shift, hydraulically operated shift. Uh, this reduced the complexity compared to the normal transmission of the machine. The second challenge we had is uh, the brake, which uh, has to uh, be suitable for allowing the machine to uh, be uh, moved on the road. The third challenge was the um, coupling of the gearbox together with the electric motor. This drive, which we have developed, is used by the company Kudik, which is based in Sweden and has realized, introduced into the market the backhaul loader uh, called Tygon. The first target when realizing such an hybrid machine is the fuel consumption, the reduction of fuel consumption. According to the first results on the field, the machine can achieve 20-25% lower fuel consumption compared to the traditional machines and uh, 
This is possible due to the use of uh, uh, this Tigon technology, which basically combinates the use of uh, multi-generator coupled on the diesel. The diesel is a 100 kilowatt and uh, combined with a battery of 20, uh, 20 kilowatt hour. Um, so it is the first machine in the market which is using this combination of two power sources together with independent wheel drive. And we are proud to have contributed to that.